Theus, whatever language you speak, it's important to be versatile, be, di be unique, be ambidextrous. The more you learn, the more you grow, the more that you helps you to be more worldly. So it's important. It's like we work with these kids. We're helping them to learn to dribble not just one hand, but both hands. You know, we use different parts of your brain, brain lateralization, left side, right side. Be a good athlete, be good. You gotta be to where be able to use both sides. We'll start like a coach's corner where I'm gonna help these kids to try to help them to be able to have something to refer back to because we're teaching them and helping them with all the things that we're teaching them, but to reinforce it, I think that this is really important. But today, we're gonna work on, first of all, ball handling. All right, so to teach them, you gotta stay, everything comes from this position here, okay? So you can't stay straight up. So if you're dribbling, you wanna stay low, okay? The lower it is, the more, the less likely you are to get it stolen, all right? Now, the other thing is, when you're dribbling to the right side, there's a defender, I always explain to him, have an arm up. Have your arm up here to defend the ball. So if you're on the right, you're defending the ball. If they're up on you. If you're left hand, you got to learn to struggle with your left. A lot of kids, they're not used to it. They want to favor one side. But you got the left hand here, this arm is bent. And this is helping you to defend off a defender. So if you're on the left side, you're driven, you're facing here, you're shielding the, the, the Basketball is helping the people from stealing the ball. If you're on the right side, the left hand's up to shield. Okay? So, other little drills, we just go through chairs and we go through and we're coming to cross over, teaching the cross over. Okay? Eventually, teaching to go through the legs. The main thing is, is um, being able to get to where it comes natural. We tell the kids it's like holding a fork. I explained to him, you know, right now we're teaching you how to hold a fork. At first it feels awkward. You have a thumb, you have an index finger, it goes here and you're trying to figure out how to hold the fork. You can just grab it. So I say like you're just throwing it up there, but are you really shooting? Okay, so don't throw it up there, shoot it. Louise, don't throw it up there, turn and shoot. Don't throw it up there, shoot it. So it's like learning to hold a fork. You know, now what do you do? You read the paper, you just grab the fork. You only think about it, it comes natural to you. So the more that you can get to where, and that's why I say when it's game time, we don't want to have to coach you up so much. We want to know, hey, you ready? It's time to eat. Get up, Mark, let's go. So that's why we talk about it, is teaching the kids to, let's start eating, okay? Because you don't want to just grab the fork anyway. So it's just the basic fundamentals of teaching kids, like how to how stand up here and get the ball stolen from you, okay? So stay here, get the off hand, that's defending the, defending the ball, okay? So, Yes, sir. There it is, Vic. Come on. Dang. Oh, Please. Hey, hey. Hey, can it get them? Get it, Victor. Get it up. Chop, chop, chop. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Come on, numbers, pull it. The next thing, um, I teach them on defense. Now, defense, everything comes from here. So if the ball's in this position here, a lot of times the guys want to, the kids want to line up even with the player and the ball's right here. So they're here, they got a whole line there. We want to be over the ball, center. So if the ball's on the right side of a person, they're located in this position. If you're on this side, you're located on this position. So what I mean by that is, you're here playing defense. One other thing, on defense, we talk about, I try to explain to them about windshield wipers. You never want to reach across your body when they're with your right hand 
It's the same thing with learning to dribble, be ambidextrous. You don't want to reach here, okay? Because then you're in an awkward position and you're beat. So I teach some windshield wipers, okay? Here's your midline, okay? Anything over here and it's coordination. We have them teach one hand up, one hand down. This is for the crossover. This is in the passing lane on this side, okay? So if they're here, uh, uh, they have the ball, they're right-handed. This is up here in the passing lane, okay? To keep them from having an easy pass over the head. This is down here, so if they start to dribble, we got a crossover. Now, if the ball's on this side, here's the passing lane. This is down here for uh, the crossover. So it's windshield wipers is what I explained to them. So it's just helping them to keep anything here in its coordination, get them to be coordinated with that. Wait, wait, wait. Good D, good D, work, let's go, good D. Shoot it, yes sir. Got it baby, good D, way to work. Now, let's say they get beat, a lot of times they want to grab them with their hands to stop them. But I'm trying to explain to them, do a drop step. You got to use your feet. So what you're doing is, they start to beat them. A drop step is here, boom, shuffle, and now you're right back over the ball. You get beat this way, drop step, boom, you're right back over the ball. Okay, so that's a little thing, is, is cutting off your angle, and then get back and get in front of the ball, okay? It's key. So, because if they beat you, and if they do beat you, Hustle your butt back, run, and get back in front of them. Okay, cut them off, all right? But like I explained to them, you don't have to run and chase them down if you're using good technique, if you're staying in front of them and you're using your feet, you're using the drop step, they can't go very far as soon as you do the drop step. Boom, right back in front of them, okay? So that's a little trick for defense. Drop, drop. Head on the swivel, Frank. Box out. Next thing, we don't work on, we teach them to box out. When the ball goes up, especially the big guys, you gotta try, everybody should go up and get it at the highest point, okay? So the other thing is, is keeping it high. A big man used to want to bring it down here, and now you're getting it down here where the guards can steal it from you, take it from you. So teaching them to, when they get blow up, put the rebound. Oh, oh. It wants it. Good, Sebastian, you want it. Good job, Sebastian. That's all about heart. Good job. Go, Brian. Show him how it's done. Let's go. Making, making things happen. Let's go, Robin. Yes, sir. That's a charge, Brian. Way to go, Rodman. Yeah, it's a charge. That's how you take a charge. <laughs>